There comes a moment in everyone's life when the world seems to cave in. A time when everything you've worked for, everything you've believed in, and everything you've dreamed of seems to fall apart. Maybe it's a personal tragedy, the loss of a loved one, or a relationship that didn't go as planned. Perhaps it's a failure in your career, or a betrayal by someone you trusted. Whatever the cause, life has a way of breaking us. And when it does, the question isn't whether or not we'll face adversity, but how we'll rise from it. In those moments when life breaks you, it's easy to feel defeated. The weight of disappointment, pain, and despair can feel overwhelming. But today, I want to remind you that being broken doesn't mean being defeated. Being broken is a natural part of the human experience. It's a place where the greatest growth occurs. It's a place where strength is born. When life breaks you, it's an opportunity for transformation. It's a moment where you can decide who you want to become, not in spite of the struggle, but because of it. The pain that you're feeling right now is real, but it is also temporary. It is not here to destroy you, but to reshape you into something stronger, wiser, and more resilient. Let's explore how to rise when life breaks you. The first step to overcoming the brokenness that life sometimes imposes is acceptance. You must allow yourself to feel the pain, to acknowledge it, and to give yourself permission to grieve. Trying to deny it or suppress it will only prolong the healing process. Pain is not something to run from, it's something to move through. But here's the critical thing, you are not your pain. You are not your failures, your mistakes, or the difficult circumstances you find yourself in. These things may shape you, but they do not define you. What defines you is how you respond to them. You are the choices you make in the face of adversity. You are the determination you muster in the midst of defeat. You are the will to keep going, even when the road ahead is uncertain. When life breaks you, don't let the narrative of, I am broken, take root. Instead, let the story be, I am in the process of healing, learning, and evolving. Every great achievement in history, every person who has ever inspired change, has faced moments of immense difficulty. They didn't let those moments define them, they let those moments refine them. When we think of something being broken, we often think of it as ruined, irreparable, or less valuable. But that's not true. In many cultures, there's a concept that something broken can become even more beautiful. Take, for example, the Japanese art of Kintsugi, where broken pottery is repaired with gold, highlighting the cracks instead of hiding them. The philosophy behind this art is that the object's history and imperfections add to its beauty and value, not detract from it. We can apply this same philosophy to our own lives. When life breaks you, it leaves scars. But those scars are not something to hide or be ashamed of, they are evidence of your survival, your strength, and your ability to heal. Your cracks, your brokenness, can be filled with gold, the gold of wisdom, empathy, resilience, and perseverance. You are not less because you've been broken. You are more because you've been tested and have come through it. When we are broken, it can feel like life is happening to us, that we are helpless in the face of circumstances beyond our control. But even in the darkest moments, you have a choice. You can choose how you respond. You can choose whether to be consumed by bitterness and self-pity, or to rise with courage and determination. Viktor Frankl, a Holocaust survivor, wrote about this in his book, Man's Search for Meaning. Even in the direst of conditions, he realized that while he couldn't control his external circumstances, he could control his internal response. He could choose his attitude, his perspective, and his purpose. In this, he found freedom. You too have the power of choice. You can choose to see the breaking moments as the end, or as the beginning of something new. You can choose to let them make you bitter, or to let them make you better. You can choose to be a victim, or you can choose to be a survivor, a warrior, a leader. Life's greatest challenges often come with the greatest lessons. When life breaks you, it's asking you to pay attention, to learn, and to grow. Every setback, every heartbreak, every failure carries with it a message. Sometimes that message is about what you need to change, sometimes it's about where you need to grow, and sometimes it's about recognizing your own strength. In the midst of pain, it's hard to see the lesson. But with time, reflection, and a willingness to learn, you will find it. Perhaps you'll learn about the importance of perseverance, of trusting yourself, or of letting go of what no longer serves you. Perhaps you'll learn about the value of self-compassion or the strength of vulnerability. Whatever the lesson is, embrace it. Don't rush the process. Healing and growth take time. But remember that every time life breaks you, it's also giving you the opportunity to build yourself back up, stronger, wiser, and more resilient than before. One of the most dangerous lies we tell ourselves when we're broken is that we're alone. That no one else could possibly understand what we're going through. But the truth is, we are all connected in our human experience. Everyone, at some point in their life, has faced pain, heartbreak, and failure. 
When life breaks you, don't isolate yourself. Reach out to others. Share your story, and you'll find that others have stories of their own. There is strength in community, in knowing that you are not alone in your struggles. There is healing in connection, in allowing others to support you, and in supporting others through their own challenges. Finally, when life breaks you, it's not just about healing. It's about rebuilding. But this time, rebuild with purpose. Don't just put the pieces back together the way they were. Use the breaking as an opportunity to reassess, to realign, and to move forward with new clarity and intention. Ask yourself, who do I want to become? What kind of life do I want to build? How can I use this experience to grow, to contribute, and to live a life of meaning? Remember, it's not the breaking that defines you. It's how you rise from it. In closing, I want to leave you with this, life will break you. But it will also give you the tools to rebuild. You have within you the strength, the resilience, and the power to rise. The greatest chapters of your life have not yet been written. The world needs your story, your strength, and your light. Don't be afraid to shine, especially after you've been broken.